Hi guys, so I'm back to do a video on how I take care of my hair when I take out my tracks um, before I put new ones in um, just because there's, there's just things that you need to know in terms of um, how to take care of your own hair because one thing that we do forget is when we have tracks we forget that we need to moisturize our hair um, thoroughly um, to prevent it from drying out and breaking and losing a lot of hair when we do take it out and transition to the new weave. Um, because your hair is the foundation like if your hair is not good and you put the tracks and when you take it out your hair is going to be breaking and then if you're trying to grow your hair you're probably going to end up failing because you're not taking care of your natural hair the way you should um so i'm going to just kind of go like step by step in terms of um what i do before i put in my new hair um so when i'm when i first take out my tracks um i completely i take everything out take the corals out but one thing I don't do, I don't comb it right away because I feel like at that point my hair is too dry so the point where it's going to break off um, when I do comb it. So what I do first is I use my Organic Raw Shea Butter Certified Conditioner um, by Shea Moisture which I got from Target. Um, and this basically just softens your hair. It's a, it's for dry damaged hair so it helps extremely because when I take out my tracks is when it's the most dry. Um, um, so what I do is I put a good like literally pump as much of it into my hand as possible and lather it like do um, kind of mush it all together and put through my entire hair. Um, and what you see when you do that is your, your curls are like so defined because this product is for natural hair and I was using it when I was natural. Um, so it made my hair easier to, to comb out and also um, helped to define my curls. So you, you, you do see that little step. You're like, oh my gosh, your curls. But um, what I do is I, after I put that in, I let it sit for like uh, five seconds. And then I start combing my hair out from the tip to the root. Um, and I go section by section rather than just like yanking your hair out I do a section by section like take a small amount comb 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 so until it's completely combed out um and then after that I put some more of it in um and run I'm kind of like running my fifth fingers through it and then comb it out again just to make sure any of my um any of oh sorry that's so unattractive when you have to scratch your scalp um <laughs> make sure any of my um any hair breakage or just any hair that was falling off is completely gone. And then after I do that, I wash my hair. I wash it first with conditioner, um, just to kind of do a, a quick co-wash. Twice with the shampoo, and then a, once more again with the conditioner. And this time I let the conditioner sit for a good amount of time, so like I finish. Because usually I will only wash my hair when I'm taking a shower. I don't like the bending over and stuff. It's so bad for your back. So I always just wash my hair when I'm in the shower. So while I'm like waiting for the conditioner to sit in my hair, I, you know, wash everything else, shave, whatever. Um, and then I wash my hair again. And then after I do that, I do a deep conditioner, um, which I use my Mazzani product. I think I'm bring it. I'm back. Um, I use my Mazzani Intense Straightening Treatment. And I let this sit for a good good amount of time. I actually sleep overnight in it. Um, so I put it in and put a good amount in it. Um, this is what it looks like. It's very creamy. It smells really good. So I put this in a good, a good amount of it completely throughout my hair and then I sleep in it overnight. So I put my shower, co shower cap on so any heat going out of my head will stay in there and allow the conditioner to work on more. And then I put my bonnet on. So I sleep through it so it's at least in there for a good eight to nine hours um, and I just let it sit and then I get up in the morning, um, wash it out, that just scared me, um, wash it completely out and um, comb it out again. And at, at that point I put, um, before I blow dry it, I put my Argan Oil Gloss and Shine Polisher which I got as a free sample actually from somewhere, I can't remember where. Um, I put that all over my hair, like try and make sure I get it from the root to the tip. And um, and then I use, I'm sorry, space. And then I use a small, small, small amount of my Aishol Intense Straightening Nighttime Treatment from Mazani as well. 
um, and put that on there and then I blow dry my hair. First I blow dry it by just like letting um, the, the heat go through it and then next I attach the comb um, application and then comb from the tip to the roots so that I get my hair um, as straight as possible um, so I don't have to spend so much time flat ironing it. Which I actually don't. I only flat iron the front parts that I have out. Um, I don't flat iron what I'm going to coral because it's kind of pointless. Um, and I just heat damage for no purpose. So I just completely blow dry it out. And after I do that, um, I go section by, like I part my hair and go back with this um, again. And actually I added something else. can't find it. Um, I added... Um, this new step, because I wanted to try the product, was the olive oil carrot oil, which comes in like a pack. It was also a free sample. Um, so what I did was I parted, put that all around, because it's really meant from, for your roots and for, your, for the tips of your hair to kind of um, prevent break, breakage and also um, um, also split, um, kind of moisturize your split ends. So I did that, and then I also did this. You may think this is a lot of like moist, um, a lot of like stuff that I'm putting in my hair. But a lot of these products are not greasy, so it's not gonna leave my hair greasy at all. It's just meant to keep um, a lot of moisture in it because I'm gonna put my hair into like this intense process of being corn rolled for X amount of days, weeks, months, and you know it's not gonna get as much love as it would on a daily basis when I don't have hair in. So I have to put a lot of love into my hair. Um, and a lot, and not a lot of products, but a lot of products that I, but products that I know aren't gonna leave my hair greasy and aren't gonna clog my um, pores um, when I put them in. So I put this all over my scalp, and then make sure I put it all on the, the tips of my hair as well. And then I commence to corn roll my hair in however pattern I like, um, which usually takes me forever because it hurts my arms. And then after I do that, I go and I spray this new product that I picked up yesterday from um, Target, which is a leave-in conditioning spray um, by Jane Carter Solutions. I was looking, I literally went to hair um, beauty, beauty supply stores because I just wanted a leave-in conditioner that was a spray um, because I will usually go through each track and spray it with, with some kind of leave-in conditioner or like... Um, something that I'll make to mix together um, and I'll look literally took me forever to find a leave-in conditioner that was in a spray bottle um, and then I found this um, and I like it so far because I even tested it in Target and I put um, I sprayed one side of my um, edges and then left the other one without and I felt the difference like one was drier which was the one without and then the other one felt a little bit more moisturized so that's why I picked this up and this also has um, organic products in it. Things I can pronounce like deionized water, extracts of aloe vera, comp free, watercress, um, myri, um, the azimus, not noblis flower, which is chamomile, sorry, um, horse tail, ooh, nettle, rosemary, henna, uh, lemon, vanilla. So these are like natural properties as you can find um and it's good for detangling and protecting hair from heat styling in the sun never had anything say that it will protect my hair from the sun um so that's what i was more inclined to buy it and i like that it's very liquidy so i don't have to use that much and i can spray it anywhere i like and i even sprayed it on like here just so i can um you know see how well it absorbs and and it absorbs really well it doesn't like just keep your entire hair wet or anything. So after I corn roll that, then I put the tracks in. And then what I do for the front of my hair is I put a little bit more of the oil that I did when I was blow drying my hair out on my hair just so I can flat iron it without, um, while reducing the amount of heat that I put on my physical hair and how much like heat goes through it. Um, and then I, you know, comb it and blend it to the tracks. So that's, Really it, for the tracks, I don't put anything in it. I try to stay away from putting products in my tracks, like, because that really makes it look older quicker. But what I do is I put product on my actual hair. Like I'll put the H2O on my edges, the back, and my actual hair um, during the day and before I go to sleep just to keep my hair moisturized. 
I'm going to start spraying my tracks with my new leave-in conditioner um, every day because you need to keep your hair moisturized as much as possible because it dries out quicker. Um, and with it, I bought it. So those are the products that I used. I feel like I'm rambling all the time when I'm talking. I apologize. Um, but these are just some you know tips that hopefully will be helpful to you when you're going through certain products that you need for when you're transitioning from relaxed, I mean from, I'm sorry, from one from taking out your tracks if you've had it for a few weeks to a new um, new hair. So yeah, and this hair is the same new Yaki that I had in previously. Um, just the same, um, same texture, I'm sorry, not the same physical hair. Um, this is new. I have a 14 inch, which comes a little to like lower, like right here. So around the nipple area. <laughs> And then I have 10 inch, so I can have like the little swoosh, like, you know, Kim K be having with her hair. So yeah, I like it. It's really soft. I'm, I'm going to fix the back because the 10, you can like distinctly see where it transitions from 10 to 12, um, 10 to 14. So I'm just going to flat iron the back a little more while I'm making sure that I put hair, heat on my actual hair. And then that's it. And I have to say, yeah, I'm loving my makeup today. Like, can y'all see? I did this like green mossy look um, with some pigments that I got. Um, the green I got for gratis from work. And then the brown is like this Victoria's Secret color that I've had forever but didn't use. And it's so really, really nice. Like so pretty on the, on the outer corners. Like I really wish my Mac was picking it up. But this look is beautiful. 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 And I'm loving my lashes. I got these Forever 21 lashes, and they're really nice. I really wish you could see it. Oh, boo camera. Boo, boo, boo. Anyways, that's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. It's not really a review, just me telling you the products that I use before I put my new hair in. Um, hope it was helpful. Hope it was helpful. My busy. Um, And hit me up. Y'all need to comment. Please, comment. i like to hear what you have to say about my review so I can know if they're helpful or not. Um... And yeah, I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Peace. And I'll see y'all soon.